What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today We are hitting the third round of the Masters and we have started off on exactly the wrong foot I hope you have enjoyed the first <laughs> first load of episodes we've had on this series It's been a good load of fun, it's been fun having you here But we've got a job to do, we want to try and climb this leaderboard as much as possible And we are making it as difficult as possible for ourselves to do that and we started terribly on the first hole. One other thing to note, I have upped the difficulty of the swing, so we are now on the hard difficulty. So let's see how that makes a difference to our score. It's a good approach shot. But yeah, we've got some work to do. Third round of the Masters, we somehow made the cut. Oh, it's just creeped in. We somehow made the cut at the back end of the last episode, if, you, if you've if you seen it. We dropped a shot in the last hole to go to two over, and yet somehow the cut got extended to two over, whilst the rest of the round and the play is simmed. So we find ourselves pretty much at the bottom of the people who made the cut. Zalatoris is, is leading on, like, 14 under. So, yeah, we... um. Got some work to do if we are going to consider this a successful weekend. Oh, this doesn't look promising. We are heading right through those trees again, and we're in the pine. Even worse, and we're in the water. Yeah, We've somehow hit water on the second on. hole. Attack with the leaves and the branches, and just nowhere for it to go except into the hazard. So the decision made to re-tee it, and now this will be the third shot here on this hole. Yeah, so we're going to drop shots early on in this round as well. This is inbounds. It is right there in the fairway. Let's go with the free iron. It's getting there, but I think it might. Veer off. If you stayed on the green, I'd be happy. Then go back into the middle of the crowd, I well, suppose. That That's some sort out. of progress. This has got to be a good approach shot, though. We're going to have to use this hill, I think, to roll it. Oh, has it got enough? Yes, it has. It's got enough to make it. Might roll a bit more. It has. Not going to be an easy putt, but we'll take it. Oh, it's going in all sorts of different directions, isn't it? Okay, it's... it's about making sure we yeah, that's a good part, drop as little as possible, and we've done that. Not a good start. And like I say, we've upped the difficulty to the hard swing oh, as well as the hard putting, so it's going to be a real challenge these next couple of episodes and on the third and fourth round of the Masters. But it's good practice, if nothing else. I'm sure you'll see some swings go amiss over the course of the next 36 holes that we play. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Bump along a bit. I thought it was going to go a bit more. The hills just brought it back down a little bit and we moved to the side. 20 foot putt. Notably Lots of movement. Three green to look at this putt for birdie. And he's got to have good energy transfer here. It's an uphill putt, but it's going to slide left. As it's just crept. Uh, hit a good putt there. Maybe didn't quite break as much as he wanted it to, and it leaks by to the right. There we go. We go for par. It's a par here at the third. And he'll hold steady. Again, it's going to be about trying to make as many shots as we can over the next couple of rounds. We are out of contention. Requires a solid, pure strike. You can't guess, I guess the aim is finish even you're happy to or under. Three. Like, it's a 36 foot drop, five mile per hour wind. Logic would suggest 
this gets on the green at least but it might rick it off we've been here before but it might just might just sit no, it's not it's just gonna reel off right at the and back of the fairway be in the short grass just off to the left not an easy one Stop. Stop there. Stop. Thank you. I'll do. From about eight feet. There we go. That's him. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll stay right where he is. But yeah, let me know if you're enjoying the series so far. Don't forget to hit the like button on the video if you are enjoying it. If nothing else, you get to see me tortured, so that should be enough for a like, I think. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, this has probably been the most challenging tournament we've had so far. Um, definitely struggled to pick up shots and get any sort of consistency going in those first couple of rounds. So that's the quick pickup of the tee. Right Hopefully, we might see some improvement over the next day or two. That's okay. It just stays on the green. That's okay. We'll take it. Better approach than the first couple of rounds where we've uh, went in the bunker. It's not going to push that all the way back, is it? Oh, it's just curved back a little bit. Not, not a bad read. Done worse with those sorts of reads before. And there we go. Five holes down, one drop shot. Start as we mean to go on, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear me. Par three here on this first nine. It's the 180 yard par three sixth elevated T two tiered green. Ken, this is such a bad read to have to make. Honestly, not sure. We've got the right club here, but we'll find out in a second. It's making the green. Well, we made the green safely, which is what I guess what we could ask for at this point. Right in the middle of the green. Look here at birdie. Again, this is downhill. Not an easy one to read. Is it going to stay straight? Just. but not quite on target. Well, coming down the slope, not a bad effort. Carry a little bit more speed, but surprisingly, comes up short. There we go. Six holes down, three over. Right where he is. Again, maybe made a couple of shots by now in other rounds, but if consistency is par at the minute, then that's what we've got to aim for. The narrower holes on the course. So, again, don't forget on the hard difficulty. I'll show you now. Just because I know there'll be a few people out there who'll who'll doubt me. You can see their swing difficulty on hard. A fairly small green. Because I know there's negative Nellies out there that. Oh, that's gone really left. And that'll be in the trees. Gonna work this up that left hand side. And that will end up in the second cut. For, that's gonna hop into the second cut. Here at seven, this is second from off the fairway. This is going to end up in the bunker, I think. Not even get to the bunker. It's going to be short. Nah, this right, we need a good approach now. Never had a chance of reaching, and now it is time to regroup and try to escape with a par. Come on, make it, the lad. Ooh, no, was just past the halt. A difficult putt coming now. Oh, look at the turn there. 11 foot putt. 
Have we read it right? Just wrong. Just pain. Just needed a bit more to the right and we would have had it. It's going to be a second shot drops. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seven. And that's going to move him back to four over. So we're the second 18 shots back on Zalatoris. And the gap's only going to get wider. Is up the hill. After the second round, after the halfway through the second round, though, I knew we weren't making any sort of serious moves. If you play it off the right, it'll kick down and leave you within evil range. We're still in a better position than where we were when we first played the Masters as a 67 rated player. So I guess that's the positive we take from it. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what we do next. Try this from here. Oh, the knockdown was not the shot I thought it was. And, this and we're right behind a tree. Where it was intended. It's going to work its way into the second cut. Wait. This is. Is it better off going that way? Maybe put some fade on it. Let's see. See what happens. Well, we've ended up in the tree anyway, but you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, just not enough spin on that. Um, really, I mean that almost like opportunity to get this in close for a par. Yeah, whatever this next tournament is on the court, on the PGA Tour, we're going to be looking to try and get into back into some form again because the past few week, the past couple of weeks, have not been kind. <laughs> that might not make it to the hole. No, there's not enough power. Going to be a second bogey in a row. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And, he'll fall back now and we're in a precarious position here because we could just start to fall apart we with this run of form. The back the nine has not been kind to us the past couple of rounds. So we've got to be careful. From back to front. Shots here that but it's like I said in yesterday's carry, episode, and I think I mentioned it maybe in the first couple of rounds as well. I'm really happy that it's not going to be easy to win these majors for me. Like... After the players' championship and finishing on like 22 under, uh -oh, this is well I didn't left. want this career mode to just become super easyville, and I'm glad and that we're at this point where it's not going to be. In the so cut. I'm second just shot, really looking forward to taking down this down challenge heads on now. Boy, so at 138 yards to the front. let's see what we do. Seven to the hole, looking to make up for that drop shot with a birdie here. If we get this on the green. I'll be ecstatic. Oh, we were so close. But we end up back in the old Casa Familia. Back in the bunker. That's quite a height to get up for this. We make it. Is it just going to stop where we want it to, though? Is it going to come back a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Okay, not bad out of the sand, and that's what will remain. Again, another awkward angle and run. And we've gone the other side now. We were too short on the angle. Now we're just a little bit too long. It's <laughs> a bit of a frustrating day with the putter. Just five feet left. Again, another drop shot. Pain. Nah, another two drop shots. Long. Sometimes you, you just got to go with your gut. Okay, Imagine being the poor sucker who's got to play the final round with me tomorrow. <laughs> He'll slide a bit further here to seven over par. Okay, this is starting to get to a point where Second nine begins we need to down wave down the white flag, maybe. <laughs> Just like, please, put the gloves down. Stop hurting me. Short of the green. 
The first hole until 1935, number 10 traditionally plays harder than any other hole here at Augusta National. That's nice and straight. And I'll be bang in the middle. That's an excellent tee shot. Actually took the corner of the dog leg on. And the payoff, a slightly flatter lie and a better angle into this green that tips to the left. That's the thing, though. Uh, is the eight club the right choice here? I don't know. The nine club was going to be too short. I think this one might have worked out, you know. It has as well. Oh, that's the shot of the day. Not that it's a particularly difficult competition, like, but it's the shot of the day. This only about five feet for birdie. Got to make this. Pain. Go. Believe it. What else could go wrong? Pain. Oh my lord, that is utter pain. So that in for par to start this back side. That would have been a great start to the back nine. The approach was fantastic. You can't ask for a better approach shot than that. Move along to hole number eleven here at Augusta National. Especially on the back nine where we've not done well the past couple of rounds. This tee box shifted a bit to the left in 2020. Come on then, let's the hole let's have a good a back good nine. 15 yards, so that now or a better back nine at least. Down the right side let's have that at least. A better back nine than normal. Play. Oh, it's the infamous no shot. There. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. It's the infamous and shot now. Officially begins now. Is second at hole number 11. Six iron. Pull it short, it's 21 feet. Club down a couple. Nice and straight. It's not gonna roll though. It is a par four as well, which isn't great for us, but. Go on, go on. Oh, it's very close. Over ambitious on that chip shot. Just sailed past. That's just going to slightly creep to the right. Nice putt. Now the putter bails him out there. That's in for a par. Here we go. Those last three holes in the front nine have really killed our score. Two bogeys and a double. This golf course are the colors more vibrant than right now. Hole number the infamous so par three. Easy on the eyes. So much harder is figuring the mysterious winds. The answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the Georgia sky. Augusta's beguiling beauty. Golden Bell. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. It's just skipped on again. And that will miss this 12th green left, but that should be manageable from there. So we cross the bridge. At least the at least it didn't end up in the water this time. Right, we just gotta try and Yep. Hit that straight as possible and it'll do the work. No problem. That is in from off the putting. Now we've got a chance to try and get another birdie. On a par five. You've always got to try and go for birdies on par fives. You've got to try and get a score there. And this one's no different. Why the risk reward that's involved and all the history that's been written here at this wonderful hole. Bit of bend on that swing, but it's not going to hurt us too much, I don't think. Move to the left a little bit, 209 yards. Considering how few fairways have been hit, if you can just find that short stuff a little more often, this could be a great round. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position. Right, get this pitch right. Five. Got to get this pitch right. Sit. <sighs> Just gave that way too much. Long birdie put. I Pretty straight a birdie put though. For birdie. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. 
Move for me. Move. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Oh! It did, but not enough. It did, but not enough. Again, another fairly straightforward put. We get that straight. Well judged. That is in for par here at 13. Again, a better start to the front nine now that we're on the back nine. But again, <laughs> the, the damage has been done with those last three holes, really. Maybe work up one, if we make up one or two shots, maybe we can fight for even tomorrow. But who knows at this point? Nice and straight swing. Gonna use a slant of that hill just that to sit there. The the hill and into the 147 yards again. Looking at the approach shot now. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green, cut into three separate sections, guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front edge. Using that nine iron. Right. Hopefully it spins like I want it to, and that's a good shot. I'm happy with that. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, look at the blooming swing of that. How have we got this one right? It's not even turned like it shows. It's running so quick, but yet it doesn't show any turn whatsoever. That's crazy. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. Now over halfway on the back nine, and again, showing improvement on the back nine is a good sign, but again, we're well out of this, so it's just trying to make as good a score as possible and see what we do, really. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course behind only the par five, but again. But it was it's a risky one to go for with an extra 20 yards unless you've got some wind to push you forward it's a risky one to go for two shots shot onto the green much tougher. nice bit of carry there which is good 300 yards 247 yards to the hole the fairway. from the fairway let's go to Noda looking at the greatest second shot in golf but don't let the beauty <laughs> fool you there is trouble everywhere I'll oh, just go for it sod it the water at least that'll do don't run off into the other water it's all right mm, there's such a tough green to land a ball softly on and that continues over the back here at hole number 15. good approach from and we can set ourselves up for a birdie third. lots of options from behind the green better choose correctly because this ball will race away from you oh it's got a chance apparently there's no way this is going in, surely. Curl for me, baby. Curl for me. Oh my god! <laughs> Got in! Oh, what a shot! Oh, that makes up that makes up for the basically the mediocrity of the previous holes. <laughs> Incredible chip in there. And the two birdies and the two like under par scores we've got on the holes have been from chippings. That was incredible. That was a great shot. On the 15th. What a shot that was. Now. We're going to. Hopefully, get relatively close to the hole now. On the par three, slow swing though. Might not carry. Got the got the look of a bounce, but it might just roll away. Okay, a little local knowledge there. He gets that ball to work back onto the green, and now a birdie putt coming up. Birdie putt coming up, and we go. Not much in terms of movement to the left, but the, it's picking up to the right. A good look at this one, and I'm not seeing a lot in it. Up the slope, not a great deal of break. Confident roll required. Push it back, push it back, push it back. Oh, oh. just off on so many of these putts today. Score would undoubtedly be lower, but I don't know how much lower. <laughs> There we go. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16. And he'll remain. Three under for the back four. nine. I'll take it. 
considering I'm pretty sure every bat nine we've played so far has been over. This par four 17th at 440 yards, one of the most famous two holes left. Can we make up this some more Grand scores now? Jack Nicklaus, the age of 46, made the birdie putt. Fern Lundquist on the call. Slightly to the right, but that's okay. That's absolutely that fine. Hit hard. Get a that bit is fine. Out, and that is going to wind up just fine. This is not going to be an easy approach shot. Look at the flag stick there. That's just not a great position to be in. Try and get some spinning on it if we can. That's gone way to the left. That's in the bunker. I was thinking it was going too well on this back nine. <laughs> to the leftmost bunker here at 17. Awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. Oh, that's a nice little shot if it stays on, but it's not going to, unfortunately. Uh, just too tough to control. We adjusted. We adjusted it to the, the green. It'll run to the left accordingly. The short stuff. But. Just couldn't get that one right. Another one. What a save there. This hole chipping it in for fun, ladies and gentlemen. That's three chip ins to the hole on the back nine. Salvage apart. Amazing. We arrive now at one now of the most come famous to the one, probably the most infamous 18 fall in the world of golf. The Masters 18 fall round three. Going to make an attempt now to try and get a birdie on here. Something we haven't done yet. Immediately to the left, that shot. Not going to hit the bunkers, which is good. Just in front of them. 183 yards. So now, up the hill, he's second at 18. Just trying to make sure we get on the green, if nothing more. We're... Oh, that died a bit more than I thought it would. Maybe the next club would have done. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. That's not going to do it again. He has. Oh my God. Four chip ins. Four chips in on the back line. What an absolute effort on the back line that is. Oh my God. I cannot believe we've done that. Four chip ins on the back nine. That is incredible. We see people play so well week in, week out. It's nice to see someone show us that this game is real hard. So that should just about do we it. Finished, we finished five under, or five over on the front line, thinking we are heading for a big score. To the and then we finish on four under for the back nine. That is incredible. I'm so happy with that. Like, I generally didn't think we were going to be able to even pull that back. That music's just gone really loud. I apologize if that's just boomed your ears out. I don't know why it's doing that. I apologize. Wait for it to finish. We'll do it swing. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't know why the music just decided to try and deafen us out. But, I mean, the menu music is supposed to be on zero. So I don't know why it's why it's playing like that. But it's done what it has. Um, anyway, we have reached the end of the third round. We've got one more round to play on the Masters. And we will be playing it with... Da -da 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 -da, Scotty Scheffler, the world number one. I don't know what Scheffler's on. Um, can we see leaderboard? Can we see where he is? He's not in the top 10. He's not had a good tournament, clearly. No Scheffler, I can see. Oh, there he is. He's two over. So me and Scotty... And going to be battling it out to see if we, who can finish higher. And he's going to have a one-shot lead over me for that fight. So we're going to try and battle with Scotty Scheffler in the last round of the Masters to see who can finish higher than the other. The last time we played with Scheffler, you'll remember, if you remember, he did have an incredible back nine and went on to win the tournament. So I don't think that's going to happen this time um, with the leaders being as far ahead as they are. But let's see what happens in that episode. And I shall catch you on that one tomorrow. As always, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a lovely comment 
down below as well. And I shall see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you all very soon.